My name is Professor Dudley Shalcross and I'm an atmospheric chemist. Uh, my area of research is the atmosphere, climate change, air pollution, lots of uh, environmental problems. That's what I'm looking at at uh, the University of Bristol. I'm uh, really passionate about science and uh, enthusiastic and hope that even if people are not scientists that they'll have an interest in the world around them. I have uh, four children of my own and I've been involved in my kids' school and their science weeks and various other activities and it's just amazing to see young children really enthusiastic and just wanting to find out about things around them. So the Trust started in 1997 and was known as the AstraZeneca Science Teaching Trust and really sort of against the, the tide they decided to focus on primary school science which was an area that was, was not a, an area of uh, particular focus or interest for funders at that time. In 2013 uh, we decided to change the name of the Trust. It was focused on primary, primary science and so we thought it was natural to call ourselves the Primary Science Teaching Trust. Our vision is that really excellent hands-on science is being carried out in every classroom up and down the UK. One thing that we've been really excited by is the phenomenal teaching that's going on in classrooms up and down the country. And uh, as a, a scientist myself, um, you know, I recognise really excellent research and really excellent high quality hands-on investigations that are going on. Uh, I really do wish I was back in primary school. Uh, the fun that they have and the, the uh, authenticity of the research and the, and the investigations they do is stunning. So I've been asked by the good and the great on many occasions how we can solve the many problems that present themselves to primary schools and particularly in the area of primary science. And I have a very simple answer to that. In my experience, there are teachers up and down the country who've solved all of these problems. And they've come up with innovative solutions that actually work really, really well. And so my answer is let's just give these teachers an opportunity to tell us how to solve these problems and really just let them lead the way. And that's really what the Trust are all about, listening to the teachers and giving them a voice. And there are myriad examples that I've, I've encountered where the holistic learning and the hands-on teaching in science has had a knock-on effect on other subjects. For example, I was on a science trail and this one student, this one girl, was talking vociferously, but very funny, very eloquently, and very correctly about the science around her. And I just joked with the teacher and said, you must have a lot of difficulty keeping her quiet in the classroom. And the teacher said to me, I'm amazed, she never says anything in the classroom. And so taking her out of that environment and showing her something else was something that really lit that, that student's in imagination. At a recent award ceremony, the head teacher presented me with a project that one of their children had done from year three on the strength of hair subject close to my heart and uh, I read through the project and it was phenomenal. The head teacher said that uh, look at the standard of English that the child is using in this project. And science had brought out that high quality English and another student was also doing an investigation as well. The head teacher showed me and said look at the, the standard of the project here and the quality of the mathematics that was being demonstrated was also outstanding from that child. So. These science investigations really do enhance literacy and numeracy, but also many other subjects too. There's lots of examples that we could talk about. There's a lot of activity coming up in the, in the next few months. In uh, June 2014, we've got our college conference where the next batch of uh, college fellows will be presented with their awards. So a variety of learned societies and other organisations will be there endorsing these awards, recognising their excellence of the teachers and recognising the importance of the awards. Most importantly, all the work will be going on on the ground. So we've got cluster projects that are ongoing and there'll be a, a new funding round coming up where other clusters of primary schools can bid for money and support from the, uh, from the Trust. So one of our most important uh, aspects of the Trust is collaboration and working with as many groups as we possibly can. For example, if you are a, an excellent primary science teacher or you know of an excellent primary science teacher, please nominate them to become a, a fellow of the college. We want to gather together the most excellent teachers in the country. If you're a researcher in primary science and you want to get involved with the trust, then we want to hear from you.
Most importantly, we're interested in working with clusters of schools and uh, we have a, a bank of resources on our website that you can work with, but also if you want to contact us and we'll be very keen to, to support you and to help you to use, utilise the resources and the expertise that we have. The College have produced some excellent resources and two of those resources will be launched in, in the coming months, one called Science Trails. So if you want to take your uh, school outdoors and do some excellent science, that's what you need to have there. And another resource called I Can Explain, if you want to do some real sort of uh, investigative and, uh, and curiosity driven science, then that's another resource. Children in primary school are ridiculously enthusiastic about in science. If ever I want to be happy about life, I go to a primary school and I come back enthused. The Trust wants to encourage that, the Trust wants to support that, and the best way to do that is to empower teachers in the classroom. And what we want to do is hold up a mirror of some really excellent primary science teachers who have science or not science backgrounds, it doesn't matter. They're just really excellent teachers who are enthusiastic about their subject. And that's what the Trust is about, is in supporting and encouraging that enthusiasm and really bringing a, a sort of passion and a desire to, to really investigate the world around us.